Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing y'all how I got this look right here. This is my bronzy natural summer makeup look that I've been doing lately. Um, some of this is a little extra just because it's fun to be extra sometimes, but um, you definitely don't have to do all of this. There are definitely better ways to do it. I just didn't really feel like dealing with them today. So uh, before we get started, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. It would help me out and y'all can join my little family that we're growing here. And if y'all want to see how I got this look, then just go ahead and keep watching. Oh, by the way, everything that I use will be listed down below. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing is primer. And I'm going to go in with the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Um, obviously we want, we want this look to be very glowy, so you want to go in with a very glowy primer to set that base for you. Okay, so next I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth, and I'm in the shade 110. Um, one gripe I have about this damn foundation there's no pump I hate just dumping it out it drives me crazy but today I'm gonna be using my L'Oreal beauty sponge which has been treating me fantastic lately I am severely obsessed I'm just gonna dump a healthy amount dot that all over the place and blend it out okay Next, I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape. Y'all know this is my absolute favorite concealer. Blend that out. I just love the way this sits on the skin. Just makes my under eye look flawless. Like just whoosh. Okay, now I have all of this doing this going on and I wanna keep it, but I also wanna set it because don't want to move it all around the place. I need to put other products on top of it that need to not go on patchy. So I'm going to set it with this e.l.f. Mess Maker powder. Um, this is just the sheer setting powder. I'm using the Real Techniques setting brush really get up in there I'm also gonna go ahead and set my eyelid I did put concealer up there I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face with this powder very lightly And we are going to bring, since we had to set the face, um, we're going to bring a little bit of that glowiness back with a couple different products. The first one is going to be this Wet n Wild Color Icon. Um, this is classified as a bronzer, but it's like not a bronzer. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's got shimmer in it. It doesn't necessarily have like chunky sparkles, but it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. Um, so I'm going to pick up the tiniest amount of this and run it under my eye. And when I say tiny, I'm in tiny because I don't want to look crazy covered in sparkles in this area, but I want to bring a little bit of that shimmer and dewiness back to the look 
Like literally that's all I'm picking up for this entire area. I'm also just gonna go ahead and bring it onto my cheekbones to act as my highlight. I may add a little bit more highlight to it, but not totally sure. Put on the center of my forehead. Around the temples. And just pretty much dust it everywhere. I'm gonna go back in with my powder brush. And just really make sure it's blended and doesn't look crazy. This is kind of like my cheap uh, dupe of the um, what are those the hourglass ambient lighting powder things that are like $40. Uh, this is nowhere near the same. It definitely has glitter in it, but it's kind of like my cheap way of getting that kind of effect without having to pay $40 for it. Um, okay, and then we're going to go in with bronzer. I'm going to use the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer to get the base color. But then I'm going to go back in with a shimmery bronzer to, again, do us, give us some of that dew back. And by the way, this is the Revlon blending brush. Honestly, this brush is terrible and it sheds everywhere, but it works for my bronzer right now. So, okay. And then I'm gonna do a little bit around the temples. Bronzer is really nice for pale skin because while it is a bronzer and it definitely gives it a little bit of color to your skin, it also helps chisel you out a little bit. So, because it's warm but it's not too warm because it's made for fair skin. So, it also can kind of work as a contour if you concentrate it in the right place. Okay. And then. <clears throat> We're going to go in with this Pure Cosmetics Mineral Glow Bronzing Powder. That's what it looks like. It's a little bit darker and has some shimmer to it, so I'm not going to pick up too much. Just a little bit. Let's get a little bit of shimmer to this look. I'm gonna make sure it's really well blended out. Because I do not want this to look like an orange stripe on my face, which, with how dark it is, I am sure it could. I'm gonna be really careful going in with products that you know are too dark. Yeah. I don't, as usual, my camera is not picking up. How bronze this actually is but it's bronzed so next I'm gonna go in with my blush this is y'all seen this before it's the makeup geek XOXO blush my favorite blush because I put on so much bronzer I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of a pink color on the cheeks and this will also help with the whole bright summer look because it's more of a bright summery color. Okay, and the last for the face, I'm going to go in with the Smashbox um, 
Spotlight Palette. And I'm going to take my highlighting brush and this first yellow shade. And I'm going to plop that right there on my cheekbone. Okay, now for eyes. I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. And I'm going to do just a super simple look. I don't want to overpower this. Um, so I'm going to go in with my Morphe M433 brush. I'm going to take Sauced, this third color here. I'm going to pick some of that up. And run that in the crease. been really loving these like super basic eye looks lately you just take like one or two eyeshadows super quick but they still look really nice and look like you put in more effort than you actually did And then I'm going to take this super fluffy brush from the Modern Renaissance palette, it's just the brush that came in that. I'm going to pick up that same color and I'm going to move this all over the place on the eyelid, back into the crease, just really fluffing it everywhere rather than specifically placing it somewhere like I did the first one. Super simple. And it looks like you actually tried when you really didn't. And then I'm going to take the flat end of this, take that same color, just a little bit, run it under my lower lash line. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that those outer corners connect. Okay, so I'm going to go in with a setting spray. I'm actually going to use the Milani Make It Last setting spray. So we put a lot of powder down. So I'm going to let that dry a minute, and then I'm going to take in my beauty sponge and just stamp all of this together. So we put a lot of powder down, and then we don't want it looking crazy. I'm going to go in with um, eyeliner, mascara, and do my brows. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> okay, I'm back. So, I did my mascara. I went in with the Urban Decay Perversion. But y'all know, if I was going out today, if you saw my Summer Necessities video, which you definitely should, y'all know that I would have gone in with the L'Oreal Carbon Black Waterproof. If I was going out today, but I had nothing to do today. So I'm not going to put on waterproof mascara because it's a bitch to get off. And I don't really want to deal with that for no reason. So I'm going to get perversion. Um, I did a little bit of a tight line in the upper waterline with the Lancome Coal Black Liner. Brows, the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And I went ahead and threw on my lip, which is the NYX Lip Liner in Natural. This is basically just my lip color, maybe a little bit darker. And then on top of it, I put the Buxom Full On Lip Cream in White Russian. I feel like a nude glossy lip really just like pulls the whole like bronzy summer look together. So I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!